Hi guys, welcome again to Leap of Faith Life. My name is Azar and I'm so glad you're here. I want to show you one of my favorite places on earth and some of the things we do here in case you are wondering about how a yoga retreat works in the middle of Costa Rica in the jungle. Hopefully you can pick up some tips, bring you through the daily day to day and hope you enjoy. This is the International Terminal where you will arrive in Costa Rica and just down the block to the left when you exit out of the airport area is this, the Sansa Terminal. So it's very close, really convenient to get to. They have a little store and a little bathroom, a waiting area, but it's good to bring your own snack at this location. Once our plane is ready, they bring us out on the runway here next to our flight. We get on board and get to pick our spot. And while these planes are small and it can feel a little bit nerve-wracking at first, usually that gives way to excitement to be able to see beautiful sights that Costa Rica has to offer out of the window and watching the pilots get ready. It's quite an adventure and it's one of my favorite parts. We have to pack quite light to be on these flights, but sometimes that's part of the fun is just bringing with you the essentials that you need for the beach. I love looking out of the window when we arrive in Puerto Jimenez and this is the aerial view of that beautiful little town with just a few hundred people. We fly directly into the main town which is really convenient. Both Sanza and Nature Air, the two airlines fly in here regularly and it is next to a cemetery so it does look a little bit odd upon first arrival. Excellent. My favorite Nago picks us up from the airport and then we drive through town. The trip takes about 20 minutes or so, maybe half hour if there's issues with the road. The retreat center is about 11 kilometers from the center of town and so it's pretty far out in the jungle. It's a dirt road that leads us there. It usually shows the weather whether it's wet season or dry season. Dry season has a lot of dust and wet season can be a little bit bumpy of a ride. But my favorite part is how remote it really is. I love entering the gates and knowing that we've arrived. Immediately on walking in you see the kitchen and the yoga deck is right across the way. My favorite place on earth. It's like Yoga Narnia. The pool is just a few steps away from that and is usually really gorgeous in the evening time. The temple or pagoda for silent time or fire ceremonies. And this is a sweeping view of the yard from the yoga studio there. The kitchen, a main eating area with rooms above. And the ocean just beyond. I'm going to show you a little bit of a room tour really quickly. So right here we've got my bed. It's a little messy. But usually this room is used for three people. So I've got another bed here and then here. Bathroom covering in here. Um, it's nice because got the shower in there, and then you've also got two different sinks here, so that's really nice. And usually, right after arriving, I want to go immediately to the beach to allow all of the travel to wash off of me with that beautiful ocean water. My favorite part about Blue Osa is all of the really fun, magical places that you can explore and discover. So this is how close the jungle is um, down the beach. It surrounds Blue Osa, but um, it's just beautiful to walk down the beach a little ways. Uh, it's neat to kind of see the differences. Um, you don't have to choose one or the other. It's just kind of seeing the different types of vegetation and life. There's so many different kinds of birds and monkeys and things that are around here that just live, um, of course, in these two varying locations. So I love the color of the water. It's my favorite to this time of year, usually with the dry season. Um, it gets pretty blue um, during the wet season, the rainy season, it tends to kind of um, mix around a lot and get a little bit darker. but. So there's things to love about either season, I would say. Sorry that I am super sweaty and my hair is everywhere, but it's a beautiful day and uh, there, you can't beat it. The 
rest of the day we just took to walk along the beach and play with the dogs. It's just good to decompress before all the work begins with the yoga retreat. So we had a little bit of time in the sun to celebrate the fact that we were in Costa Rica.